Welcome to AA TV. Your rifle, pistol and shotgun require constant maintenance to keep it functioning properly, just like any piece of technical equipment. Starting on the outside, all metal parts should be cleaned and lubricated to prevent rust and corrosion from dirty, sweaty fingers, mud and moisture. Metal to metal surfaces need to be cleaned and lubricated to prevent wear. The parts that need attention on a bolt action rifle are the barrel, the action, bolt and the magazine. It's easy to forget about the magazine but keeping it clean prevents abrasive dirt from entering the chamber with a cartridge. Clean the bolt face with a toothbrush and apply oil to all exposed surfaces. Water can pass into the stock, out of sight, so stripping your firearm to its basic components is something you should do if you've been out in damp conditions. Normally a wipe over with an oil cloth is all that's needed. Cleaning inside the barrel or bore the wrong way could do more harm than good. Bent cleaning rods and poorly made brushes can damage the sharp edges of the rifling, throat and crown. So if the rod or brush is off centre, it can damage the crown and rifling and has a major influence on accuracy. Cleaning kits are handy, compact and widely available. Alternatively, just buy the components you need. There's a wide assortment of cleaning products on the market and as a general rule, the more expensive the better. First of all, a strong, straight, one-piece rod, preferably made of steel or carbon fibre with a ball bearing handle. Buy the most expensive rod you can afford. Look after it, keep it clean and straight and it will give you years of reliable service. Using a ball guide helps keep the rod centred. The bronze brush does all the hard scrubbing work. A nylon brush makes a good jag to wrap flannelette around. Cut the flannelette, such as this 4x2, to the correct size for the calibre. You don't want the patch too tight or too loose. The chemicals you'll need are a ball solvent, some good gun oil and some methylated spirits. Occasionally you might need something a bit stronger. A wool mop is handy for cleaning and drying the chamber. This one is a 410 shotgun mop. When you find good quality cleaning gear, look after it. Wash brushes in metho and store them in plastic bags to keep them clean. Ideally, barrels should get a thorough clean after 30 or 40 shots. If you can, scrub the bore with a dry bronze brush after a day out shooting. It will help prevent the build-up of what's called powder glaze that forms from the powder residue left inside the barrel. This is best done before the barrel gets cold. Doing this will make cleaning a lot easier when you get home. For a thorough clean, put the rifle on an angle so any excess chemicals and residue run out the end of the barrel and not back into the chamber or magazine. Scrub the bore with a bronze brush soaked in bore scrub. Then follow up with a clean patch. Repeat these steps until the patch comes out without any discoloration. Then finish off with a light oiling. Remove any oil the next time you go shooting. Sometimes other material may be left in the bore that the scrubbing just doesn't remove. For example, copper from jacketed bullets. Tiny fragments of copper get stripped off and can affect accuracy if allowed to build up. Soak a patch with a copper solvent and wipe the bore with it. Leave it in for 10 minutes or longer to let the chemical do its job. Then wipe it out with a clean patch. The blue-green colouring indicates that there is copper present in the bore. Repeat these steps until there is no sign of copper left on the cloth. Put some metho on a patch and wipe out any chemical residue. Let the metho dry and finish off with a light coating of oil. Mop out the chamber and apply some grease on the metal to metal contact points. And you're done. A bore snake is very useful for cleaning lever and pump action firearms. But this only gives a superficial clean. For a proper clean, it has to be done from the muzzle end, otherwise the method is the same. To prevent powder residue and chemicals ending up in the action and magazine, simply turn the firearm upside down in the rest. Remember, this video is about maintaining firearms that are in good condition to start with. No amount of cleaning will bring a worn out barrel back to life again. I hope this video has shown that cleaning is something you should do often to protect your valuable investment so you can continue to enjoy your sport. Thanks for watching AA TV and I'll see you next time.